God's heart is not to hurt me. God's heart is to to heal me and to understand God's anger because he does get angry. What we've got to understand is what is he angry about? And I like this because David, who wrote this psalm, his son Solomon, who came after him and was king of Israel, he wrote a lot of the Proverbs. And in one of the Proverbs, he tells us what God's angry about. It's Proverbs chapter 6. And in Proverbs 6, he says this, six things God hates. There's six things that God hates. Oh, wait, he says, oh, wait, sorry, seven. There's seven things that he tests, detests. I, I don't know if you have something that you detest, that you get upset about. I think we've all got our list. Speak text is one of mine. Like when you speak something and you, you send a message to grandma and, you, you, and then you're, you get, get back, she's like, what? And you look at it and you send her something incredibly obscene to grandma and you're like, oh my goodness, I did not mean to say that to grandma. We've, we've all done that. We've all, we've all been there. That's one of my most frustrating things. But I can tell you what, this is probably at the top of my list is travel mugs and lids. Here, here's what I don't understand. Why is it that, uh, and you can see this picture here. Look, look, look at this picture here. This is, a, this is an actual incident in our home recently as I just, I, why can't we keep the lids together? I, I finally just got tired. I put a note on a lid a couple weeks ago. I set it in the shelf and I stuck it up there. And I was like, where is the lid to this thing? Because I don't understand. Like you, you, you have the lid, you have the mug, you wash them, but somehow in the, in the transitional period to the cupboard, the lid and the cup somehow don't end up together. I, I, I don't understand that. So I don't know what makes you mad. I don't know what makes you angry. In fact, actually, I would like for you just to share for just a moment with somebody around you, what's your thing? Like, what is it you're like, that is one of the most irritating things to me. What's God really angry about? Like, what gets him angry? All right, here is the official list from Proverbs chapter 6, 1 to 7, okay? Number one, haughty eyes. Number two, he hates a lying tongue. Three, Hands that kill innocent people. Four, a heart that plots evil. Five, feet that race to do wrong. Six, false witness that, that lies. Somebody who lies against people. Or number seven, people who sow discord. You know what's interesting? Politics and masks are not on the list. It's nowhere on the list. It's what, what angers us is often not what angers God. Here's what angers God. Injustice. Injustice angers God. What else angers God? I mean, God, God gets angry when he sees abuse. God gets angry when he sees that we deceive one another, when we trick one another, when we lie just, just to get an advantage over someone. That, that angers God when we do that. Oppression, the oppression he sees happening that is playing out in front of our eyes on television right now, God hates that kind of oppression. He hates betrayal. Those are the things that God hates. Why does he hate those things? Because we're his children. And it angers him when he sees what is happening and the ways in which we're treating one another. I'm a, I'm a dad. I get that. If you're a parent, you get that. You understand that. If you see somebody, like, I'll just say, when I see somebody mistreat one of my kids, and by the way, it doesn't matter if they're 2, 22, or 32, and I've had them all those ages now, and whether they are a young child or they are an adult child, if I see somebody mistreat, take advantage, or abuse one of my kids, it makes me angry. But also it makes me angry when I see one of my children do that to someone else. And it's in that type of anger, that display of anger, that you see the compassion and the love of a parent. That's what, when I'm angry in that way, it's actually displaying my love and my care and my compassion for my child. And it's the same thing with your heavenly father. He loves you. And that's why he gets angry. Because he doesn't want to see anything like that happen to you. And he certainly doesn't want to see you or me do anything like that to someone else. 